it has been a while since we've done some Jeffrey Dawkins the third road to glory so we got a couple of updates if you missed the first game make sure you go click on that video if you want to see what happened now i am going to break it down so if you don't want to go see it i'm gonna break it down for you what happened last week week number one of the college football season we lost to a division two school that's right the sec team tennessee lost to a division two school now was it all jeffrey dawkins fault absolutely not but did he play well Nah, not really. He threw a couple of interceptions. He didn't look that great, you know, throughout the game. So the coach has decided to bench him. Now, was the loss all his fault? No, he didn't really have a running game to re rely on. And the defense did give up a game-winning touchdown versus a division to school. So this is week number two, man. This is a game versus Western Kentucky. That's right, Western Kentucky, a team that Tennessee should be easily. But again, Tennessee has not had the best season going on so far. So we're looking to see if Jeffrey Dawkins is going to get his starting job back. And it looks like he is nowhere to be found. Western Kentucky is up 7 nothing, And now Tennessee finally gets on the board. And Jeffrey Dawkins is holding the P. A T. So he gets no playing time. He didn't get a completion. He didn't have an attempt. He didn't even get a snap, a snap on the center. He got no love from the coach. So now it is time for him to get his job back. So we're in a practice situation. I'm talking to Jeffrey. I'm in his ear. Like, man, you got to step your game up. You got to trust the receivers, trust the running backs, and get them the ball. But right there, back to back, batted down balls. And the coach does not like to see that. So here we go. We finally get somebody open. And Chance drops the ball. So he's not getting any help from himself he's not getting any help from his receivers and now we are facing the number four team in the country that's right the number four team in the country the Oregon Ducks Tennessee is taking it on the road traveling west traveling northwest to Oregon to face Oregon the number four ranked team in the nation is Jeffrey Dawkins play absolutely he plays and again he is on the field goal team to hold the snap for the place kicker and they're down 14 nothing and the kick is up and the kick is good and now it is 14 to 3 so again Jeffrey Dawkins gets absolutely no playing time the final score is 48 to 38 we kind of saw that coming Tennessee not even ranked again Tennessee lost to a division two opponent and now they're going to face the number five team in the country, the Florida Gators. Now, Jeffrey Dawkins, he grew up a Florida fan. They air it out a lot. He loves passing the football, want to go up and down the field with the Florida Gators. But unfortunately, he is on Tennessee, and Tennessee benched him. And you have to remember, he went to Tennessee so he can be the day one starter. At Florida, he would have been a four-string quarterback. He wasn't having that. Went to Tennessee, and now he's benched, and he now he wants his job back. He didn't play against Oregon. He didn't play against Florida. So you know at this point he wants his job back. But you can see he's practicing with the number two team yet again. He is practicing with the scout team. They are running South Alabama's playbook. That means that the opponent they will be facing in the upcoming game is South Alabama. Now, I know what you're thinking. South Alabama's not that good. Maybe the coach will let Jeffrey Dawkins III get some run here. And I'm thinking the same thing. Maybe this is a chance for Jeffrey Dawkins to come back, get his starting job back, and get his feet wet, you know, in the college game. He had a bad start. He The first game of the season didn't go that well. But now if we are going up against South Alabama. It's South Alabama. It's USA. You know what I mean? It's one of those schools that this is where you want to give your freshman quarterback some love. Give him a little bit of run. Let him get his feet wet. You know what I mean? South Alabama does not have a strong defense. The offense shouldn't put up any big numbers. So you should think that Jeffrey Dawkins, again, the number one recruit out of high school, the number one quarterback coming out, should be able to produce versus South Alabama. But the head coach at Tennessee has different plans for him. And again, Tennessee is making Jeffrey Dawkins hold the PATs. So at this point, he's fed up. He's had enough of this, but the coach has come to him. The coach said that, you know what, we didn't play that well with South Alabama. Yeah, we put up 30 points, but the offense looked kind of shaky. So now he has a chance to gain his job back. He has a chance to go out there and do his thing. So Jeffrey Dawkins in practice, he's dropping dimes left and right. Look at this pass right there. Hits his man on the post route, and he gets it to 
into the end zone, and that's always good. Right now, he is impressing the coaches. The coaches are liking what they see. I'm liking what they see. I'm liking what I'm seeing. And Jeffrey Dawkins is just throwing the ball all over the field. And guess what? He won his job back that's right and now they are getting ready to play the number 11 team in the country we are welcoming the georgia bulldogs that's right the georgia bulldogs they are the number 11 team in the nation so you know jeffrey's gonna have the ball versus these guys maybe we could pull the upset maybe it's gonna be a great game for jeffrey you never know first play of the ball game second and seven we give the ball to tucker and he's gonna pick up a solid gain of three third and four now jeffrey dawkins out of the shotgun formation throws the ball to tucker out of the backfield he can't catch it the ball is a little off target georgia gets the ball but look at the defense the defense gets the ball right back for the University of Tennessee. So now it's 4.59 to go. And I know what your coaches, you, we already know what the coaches are thinking. Let's let him run the ball. He ain't passing the ball too well. So he's going to pick up a solid gain of six on the read option. Now we do the read option to the other side. And there we go. We're going to pick up the first down gain of eight move those chains second and eight now out of the gun formation jd3 drops back to pass and he's gonna find james howard on the post route gain of 30 move those chains second and nine now jeffrey Dawkins rolls to the left side he decides to tuck it and run and he's gonna pick up a big gain on the play third and inches now get the ball to blake harris the backup tailback and he's gonna pick up the first and goal second and goal now jeffrey Dawkins drops back the pass looking for somebody to throw the ball to he gets hit he fumbles we already know the coach isn't gonna like that but luckily tennessee recovers and on third and goal he drops back the pass looking for somebody to throw the ball to and he can can't find anybody so he decides to tuck it and run and he's gonna come up a couple of yards short but look at this he's no longer holding the PATs he's a starting quarterback and the kick is up and the kick is good so it wasn't a touchdown but hey Jeffrey did his thing and Tennessee is on the board first so it's three nothing the defense did their thing yet again and now Tennessee has the ball back and now the old line is to start blocking for this man because now they just went three and out and it's fourth and 13 so we're forced to punt but again the defense gets the ball back for the offense so on first and ten, we're going to find Herring, and he's going to pick up the big first down gain of 16 on the play. First and ten now, JD3 drops back the pass, and we're going to find Roy Reese, double lord, number 87 in your programs, and number one in your heart. Now first and ten to get the ball to Tucker, and Tucker's going to pick up a solid gain of seven, going to bring up second and three. Play action pass now, Jeffrey Dawkins the third, drops back the pass, and he's going to find Roy Reese again, double lord, number 87 in your program, and number one in your heart. This is Jeffrey Dawkins' favorite target to throw the ball to, because he's clutch, man, he always comes up in the big situation so first and go now looking like we got a little read option and Jeffrey Dawkins is gonna take it to the crib touchdown Tennessee Jeffrey Dawkins on the read option kept it himself and now Tennessee has a chance to go up 10 nothing they do so and now Georgia drives down the field and they pick up three on the board so now it's 10 to 3 Jeffrey Dawkins has a chance to increase this lead for Tennessee throws the ball over the middle finds James Howard gain the 16 move those chains second and 14 now Jeffrey Dawkins the third drops back to pass and we're gonna find Herring to the left side and he's gonna pick up a gain of 26 first down Vols look at that replay y'all see Jeffrey Dawkins out there doing his thing first and 10 now JD3 drops back to pass finds Roy Reese double law 87 in your programs number one in your heart and now it's third and two now Jeffrey Dawkins the third drops back to pass rolls to the right he throws the ball before he gets sacked and that's going to lead to this field goal attempt and the kick is up and the kick is good so it's 13 to 3 and now the Bulldogs they get the ball back but they do nothing with it and now we have 20 seconds on the board to try and add to this lead so it's first and 10 now out of the gun Jeffrey Dawkins the third drops back the pass he rolls to the right side throws the ball on the run and he's gonna find James Howard and he's gonna pick up the first down 168 yards passing so far for Jeffrey Dawkins on second and 10 he finds James Howard again and he's gonna pick up a gain of 18 this time and that's gonna set up this field goal attempt and the kick is up and the kick is 
good. So now it's 16 to 3. Georgia gets the ball to start off the second half, and they go down and score. So Jeffrey Dawkins know that this is a tight ball game versus the number 11 ranked team in the nation. And now we hit Mr. Herring over the middle, picks up a solid game. Move those chains yet again. So first and 10, now man of motion. They fake the jet sweep. Now Jeffrey Dawkins rolls to the left side. He's going to tuck it and run. He's going to pick up the first down, cuts back inside, and gets a couple of more yards. 78 yards rushing for the Tennessee Vols as a team. So now it's third and eight. Jeffrey Dawkins to third. Drops back to pass. He's going to get sacked on the play. Loses three yards. And we have to settle for another field goal. So there's only been one touchdown, and that has been on the ground. We're still waiting for Jeffrey Dawkins to throw his first touchdown, to throw his first touchdown pass of the game. Y'all see Georgia going up and down the field, and now this ball game is only a two-point game. So we give the ball to the running back on the option, and we pick up the first down. 19-17 to 17 is their score. Jeffrey Dawkins third. Josh about to pass. We're going to find James Howard on the slant route, and he's going to pick up the big First down, second and two now, read option again, and there goes Jeffrey Dawkins, the third up the gut, and he's going to pick up the first down. Third and inches now, read option again, Jeffrey Dawkins keeps it again, he's going to pick up the first down, and much, much more, gets into the end zone, touchdown balls. And now the score is 25-17, to 17. we get the PAT, and it's 26-24 now as Georgia went down the field and got their hands on a touchdown. So now it's 26-24, to 24. we got to try and put this ball game away. We find James Howard on a 12-yard slant route, and he's going to pick up the first down. Third and seven now, Jeffrey Ducks third, throws to the right side, he's going to get sacked, and now Georgia gets the ball back and they take the lead, 32-26. 41 seconds to go in the ball game. This is not Jeffrey Dawkins' fault, but you know that the coach might look to bench him again unless he can lead a comeback. So now he finds Herring over the middle, and he's going to pick up the gain of 18. Move those chains. Second and three now, 30 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. He's going to find Smith over the middle, and the big tight end picks up the first down, fighting for extra yards, but he's going to get the first down nonetheless. Second and 10 now, 21 seconds to go. JD3 drops back to pass, looking for a man. He's going to Find Roy Reese, number 87 in the program, number one in your heart. Now it's 15 seconds to go. First and 10, and they're going to find Smith, the big tight end in the end zone. Touchdown, balls, and now they got the lead. Or oh, they have a chance to get the lead. The PAT is good, and that's going to be all she wrote. 33-32 is your final. Jeffrey Dawkins there led the balls on a nice comeback. He played well the whole game. Only got one touchdown through the air, two on the ground, but that's a solid game for the freshman quarterback. And you know the Tennessee Volunteer fans have to be happy with that. And if you guys like the video, please leave a thumbs up and I'll see y'all later.